All right, let's switch it up a little. Um, here, there's two ways of going about it. One way would be to complete the square and then the use up, and everything will be nice. But uh, uh, maybe I get you started on that on that option. Yeah, that that option would look something like this. Uh, one option would be to say this would be one over the square root of x squared plus 4x. Now, to complete the square, we take half of the middle term here. In this case, it would be 2, and you square it, and you add it. But just to be fair, you, maybe you should subtract it so that you haven't changed it to a whole new different problem. Uh, that becomes, of course, uh, 1 over x plus 2 um, squared minus 4 times dx. This piece right here becomes x plus 2 squared. Okay, and then you can make a u sub. You, I would make uh, u be x plus two. That would make that would force du to be equal to dx. This is a little baby dictionary to handle this piece right here. So then it would look like it would look like this. It would look like one over u squared minus four d uh, du because the dx can be exchanged for du. And then you may wonder, what does that one look like? Well, because of that four, it doesn't look like any of them. Um, doesn't look like, well it almost looks like secant squared theta minus 1 except it doesn't look like that, it looks like minus 4 but that's not going to help us if we have a 4 there because that's not something famous, you can't turn it into a monomial however if you had a 4 here you could, as long as this matches 4, 4 you can see how that would turn into 4 times a secant squared theta minus 1 which would in turn turn into 4 tangent squared theta so this as long as your four matches, you could in fact turn this into a monomial. It would just be a slightly different version of the original famous identity. So we should try to go for that. Uh, I think we can make it work. Let's say we want, this is what we want. We want u squared minus 4 to be equal to 4 secant theta minus 4. So then we want u squared to be equal to 4 secant squared theta. I've subtracted 4 from, or added 4 from both sides. Uh, that gives me that u is equal to 2 secant theta and then I'll slap a differential on both sides du is equal to 2 secant theta tangent theta uh, d theta and this completes my dictionary well I might need a little triangle just in case maybe or maybe I'll do it later when I need it no worries if we need a triangle we'll make one alright um, that would take me over to this side and then we would have uh, the integral of u squared minus 4 that would be 4 secant squared theta minus 4 and on top I have du, du is right here that's going to go up here and my phone rings so much alright so then the, the, on the numerator we'd have, we would have uh, 2 secant theta tangent theta d theta now what? well the bottom would become something nice first of all I could factor out these these guys 2 and a 4 that would become secant theta tangent theta d theta and on the bottom I'd have a secant square th sorry yeah, secant square theta minus 1 which of course would become a tangent that would become a secant theta tangent theta d theta on the bottom that becomes a tangent theta square. Now I can go on and I can cancel one of these cos tangents and cancel one of these and that would become um, 2 over 4 integral of uh, secant um, secant theta over tangent theta d theta. And what does that become? Well that becomes 2 over 4 integral 1 over cosine theta sine theta over cosine theta d theta right that's the secant is 1 over cosine the tangent is sine over cosine then I can cancel a couple more of these cancel that one and cancel that one and this becomes a 2 over 4 integral of cosecant theta d theta which of course is famously known to be ln of cosecant theta minus cotangent theta plus a constant uh, yeah, this one's not that easy, by the way, unless you've seen it before, you know this, this story here, the cosecant. But that's probably on another video that you should look for. 
any case, you should answer with X's. If the original problem was proposed with X's, maybe you should answer with X's. Now we're going to use the dictionary. Now we're going to need to complete the triangle dictionary here. Because I need to get cosecant. And I only have, all I, all I have is secant. So I'll work with my dictionary. I'll do it here on the side here. I have that. I'll pick it up from here. Secant theta is equal to u over 2. That means that cosine theta would be 2 over u. Because the cosine is the secant inverted. That would mean if I had a reference triangle with theta here, the adjacent side would be 2 and the hypotenuse side would be u. At least that would be the ratio. Hypotenuse or adjacent to hypotenuse. Right, for cosine. And I could use Pythagorean theorem and figure out that the other one would be u squared minus 4. And now I can read this from the triangle. This is part of my extended dictionary. Sometimes you need to extend the dictionary. I would use this triangle to figure out what that piece is. Cosecant. Cosecant ratio. Uh, what is that? That's uh, the opposite, uh, the inverted sign. So it would be adjacent over opposite. So this one would be, let's finish it here. This one would be 2 over 4 ln of cosecant. That uh, would be um, hypotenuse over opposite, square root of u squared minus 4, minus uh, cotangent theta. Cotangent theta would be the adjacent over the opposite, square root of u squared minus 4, plus a constant. And then you'd be done. Ipikaye. I told you. See why they pay me? All right, I was going to do it a different way, but maybe I shouldn't. I could. I'll show you another idea, okay? Just for fun. This one's for free. I'll show you another idea. Why not? Look, the other idea was that you could look at it as the square root of x and the square root of x plus 4 dx. Without even completing the square or any of that stuff, you look at it and say, hey, it wouldn't be nice if I could turn this into a monomial. The answer would be yes. If you would make x... Here's the beautiful idea here. Turning this into a monomial, why, why don't we try this? You could try x equals tangent squared theta. Now uh, maybe a 4. Because then, if that was the case, what would x plus 4 be? If this was the case, then x plus 4 would have to be f uh, 4 tangent squared theta plus 4. And voila, that turns out to be a monomial because that could be 4 tangent squared theta plus 1, which would be, of course, 4 secant squared theta. That would be one way to turn that piece right there into a monomial. Add the missing ingredient here, the x should be a tangent square, give you the famous identity. And not only that, but in and of itself, you could put it here and also get rid of the square root. It would look like this if you did that. Um, if your x was equal to that, then your dx would be equal to, let me complete the dictionary here, 4 times 2 times tangent theta times the root of tangent would be secant squared theta times d theta. Right? This is part of the dictionary. The, di the substitution. This would become, this would become, let's go with uh, green. This would become 1 over the square root of 4 tangent theta times the square root of 4 tangent theta plus 4 times the dx, which would be a 4 times 2 times tangent theta times secant squared theta times d theta. Duh. But of course that cleans up nicely. But this was a square. This would become, stop me if I'm lying, this would become 2 tangent theta. This would become a 4, the square root of a 4 secant squared theta. This would become a 4 times 2 times a tangent theta times a secant squared theta. See, I didn't really want to do the whole thing. Just wanted to point you in the right direction. Anyways, it turns out really nice. Look, uh, maybe I'll go one more step for you. The tangent kills that one. That 2 kills that one. This becomes a 2 secant. So that be kills that one. The secant kills one of these secants. And you get, of course, um, wow, what a beautiful way to do the problem, huh? You get a 2 times a secant uh, theta d theta, which, of course, is well known to be ln of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c, blah, blah, blah. 
All right, it's not from this video, it's from a, it's a whole different story. All right, we'll see you guys here next time for another example.